108. The Empire State Building shines down on us. A mixture of cultures, the forerunner of populating, the ten formations of Jehovah. A side of me, man and woman, and at their feet the holy temples covered with the rose. Similar planets will be found within the billions of dimensions, within the ten formations. And before me, ethnicities abound in music, song and dance. Many times I have shouted out, Who am I to divulge to you your future attainments? I have been moulded by your very hands. Through every element of scorn, turning to beauty and love. That beauty and love disperses throughout the holy temple, melting down every piece of war material. The material will be used in building the trains and tracks to Ur. The joy I maintain in my purpose overrides all disputes. Jehovah is the name, and the trains to Ur will call on all nations to harmonize as one orchestra. Ask any philosopher or historian, and he will tell you that living just for today leads to extinction tomorrow. Building the tracks to Ur signifies our future life beyond the Holy Temple within the body of Jehovah. Ur is our first stop. The ten formations follow from this. My friends, it had to happen. I, Alan, the Holy One, driven daily over fifty years by media, acknowledgement, and sense of purpose. Sing with me once again. O oh, living world, O oh, troubled world, give us understanding. 
understanding. Man is God, man is conscious. Blessed be the Creator. My friends, the working man, wife and children, education and health, and a stable unit of communication through youtube.com slash Alan Sky six 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 I Alan the sovereign Lord of all hosts bring stability and agreements within intercommunication of all governments and trade and abolition of all elements connected with war. The peace train sends the message. We begin yesterday and transmit ourselves through the three tenses of Jehovah. My friends, there is no business like show business. The four points of the compass will seek out her. The age of war and armaments are finished. It flourished with the beat of the drum, uniforms, magnificent flying machines, but has reached its peak, foretelling the end of our species. The dinosaurs supposedly ended with the gases emitted from their own bodies. We must be aware that we are driven by the genius of our hands, making the cobalt bomb to do the same. I call myself the Messiah, not as a casualty of war or receiving fame by death, but one who has continually risen on the morrow to strike the chord of peace or to raise the violin of the orchestra and the pause of reflection. The chord and reflection marks humanity as the living embodiment of music, song and dance, and not the screams and howls of foul play ejected by a missile travelling a thousand miles the human habitation. The image within my hands of the rose is one of forethought and truth and the denial of all forms of war. The figures in front of me symbolize the joy of living. Eight years.
Adventures on YouTube.com slash Alan Sky 666. I have been calling for the peace trains to Earth. We will, at the early stages, be united by working together to live in peace. On the completion of the cigarette and the Latimer beam and domes in every household, we will be ready for liftoff from the planet. All forms of belligerency between one country and another must cease. We have trade and tourism. My friends, war is the biggest mental health issue on the world stage. It is derived from the lack of control over our primitive paranoia. We do not kill anymore. My friends, I, Alan, the beast of burden, have carried you all on my back for over 50 years. I now release you as the rose with a triple royal flush. Moses and the one and zero joins with the binary one and zero. Time travel is on every person's door, or should I say, every person's dome. The growth of the family unit, the working class and medical skills helps us to climb out of the quagmire of atom bombs, hydrogen bombs, cobalt bombs and neutron bombs and all the unkindly instruments used to tear away life and live and the very fabric of society. The pyramids arose the Empire State Building arose. Glorious cities all over the world are heaving and sighing every day. The constant within my brain is Jehovah. It delivers you within the three tenses. Say you, Jehovah. Jehovah speaks. Alan, my boy, every mirror in the world delights in your reflection, and every nerve ending from your toe to the tip of your nose causes my subatomic particles to twitch and switch on that leverage of the three tenses making up my body. Mirror, mirror on the wall. 
Let's have peace and no more war. I, Alan, say, raise my name and call out the progression of peace within my name. Yud hey, vuff hey, yud hey, vuff hey, yud hey, vuff hey. War is finished. Grow up and live. I say to Jehovah of the three tenses, Blessed be thy name, and that of the pharaohs of Egypt. As with the Empire State Building, we reach to the heavens. Abraham from Ur followed the Tigris and Euphrates, and Moses descended into Egypt. The one and zero was remembered by Moses as he ascended the mount after leaving Egypt. Law and order is imperative. Today, in astrophysics, we have the binary one and zero, used for a different purpose, but remembered from Moses. All the peoples of the world are kith and kin. We do not kill each other. Yud hey, vuff hey. Yud hey, vuff hey. Yud hey, vuff hey. We are the vowels within the consonants. <laughs>